Hi, so I'm a student here at VCFA in the Visual Arts Program. We had invited uh, Leslie Ward, the president of the college, and Matthew Monk, the dean of students, to meet with us to answer some questions. Uh, we created some signs, and we're, we are visual artists, so that's what we do. Uh, we put our concern about our culture and our, our lives into art. Well, we delivered a list of demands. Um, we would like, we want the residencies to stay in Vermont. So we want them to break the contract that they have with Colorado College, which is to have the summer residencies that go there. We were notified that the winter residencies are going to be done online. And, you know, visual art is very difficult to do online. We couldn't do this, you know, in Zoom. It's about community and collaboration and um, sp having a voice together. And that's been, that's been denied us. Hi, uh, my name is Sabrina Resnick. I'm representing my cohort who just completed our second semester here at VCFA. Speaking to Leslie, I wrote you and the board a letter signed by my peers here in the visual arts program and school-wide. I'm unsure if you read it as I never received a response, but nevertheless, I'm glad for the opportunity to speak to you face-to-face. -face. The news to relocate the summer residency and make winter residencies remote was a shock to us. We are concerned about completing our degrees and the future of VCFA. These are significant changes, and we would like to understand more. We have a few important questions to ask. What steps did you and the board take to save this campus and keep our residencies here before making this decision? Your letter sent on June 18th stated that this decision was motivated by the desire to build a financially stable model so VCFA can endure for decades to come. Are the finances of the school in peril? Will you provide information on the current financial state of the college? Will you provide a copy of the contract with Colorado College? What is the urgency to move the residencies by summer 2023? This question comes from a current graduate. As soon to be graduates, we have been looking forward to coming back to campus. We hope to come back to VCFA to participate in traditional opportunities for alumni. Without this campus, there's an immediate detachment to the legacy of this program. Why would VCFA sell the campus it already owns and rent from a campus 1,974 miles away? Hmm. Do you want to read yours or do you want me to? I'll read them. <clears throat> Is the consulting company Titan Partners working with VCFA? Does VCFA have a contract with Titan Partners? If yes, VCFA Board of Trustees Chair Michael Goldstein is also a Managing Director at Titan Partners. Mm. VCFA has a conflict of interest policy for the Board of Trustees. Did the Board vote that there was no conflict of interest? If there's a contract, what did you and the Board contract Titan Partners to do? Do you have any comments on Titan Partners history with small liberal arts colleges? What have you and the board concluded the impact would be on the Montpelier community of moving VCFA residencies? To Matthew Monk, the academic dean, how many students were consulted before making this decision mm -hmm. and from which programs? Mm -hmm. Matthew said zero Matthew students said were none. consulted. He was there. So this change was made without consulting us and denies us any voice. We feel betrayed. These are life-altering changes. We don't see that enough was done to look for alternatives and avoid the decisions in the first place. Do you understand why we're concerned? With this in mind, we ask that you create a plan describing how you will restart the process to secure the future of VCFA following a collaborative organization model, which is outlined in their governance policy. The plan shall include input from students, faculty, program staff, alumni, and the Montpelier community. The plan will describe how you will involve student, alumni, and faculty stakeholders from each program in your decision-making process. And the plan will be provided in writing to students, faculty, program staff, and alumni by August 31st, 2022. We gave them a copy of the request in writing and emailed it to them and asked for a prompt reply in writing by noon on July 28th if they were in agreement with this process. If they cannot agree to this, we will pursue a tuition withholding action coordinated with other programs. 
Thanks for your time.